Hello. Hello. We're in a car. <laughs> We're in a car. We're in my car. We're in Heather's car. We <laughs> have just arrived at SMC Motorhomes, which isn't far from Brownells, to be honest. Um, they've got a event launch day for Frankia, I believe they're called. We're not interested in them anyway, but we we discovered by nosing at that that they're an auto sleeper, auto sleeper dealer mm -hmm. and they have in stock the Warwick XL. I love the Warwick XL. Heather, and the Kingdom. You like the Kingdom. Heather likes the Kingdom. So we're not going to sell Pearl just yet, but when we do, <laughs> we're already looking at what the next van is going to be. We make no secret of that. Yeah. Um, you've got... I, I think we've said, you know, we want to stick with the van conversion. Yeah. We... But we like the thought of that extra yeah, we, 300 we, we wish now. And we don't whatever. regret buying Pearl, but we wish now we'd gone for the 6.3 metre, I think. Um, well, I do anyway. Um, Can't get that in there. And yeah, Aldis <laughs> don't do a 6.3 metre. Um, they probably will be the time. We'll they be probably will do by the time. But anyway, so... I've always wanted to go, we've looked at these auto sleepers online and second hand and stuff, but we've never actually been in a Kingdom. Uh, sorry, a King, well, you, have you been in a Kingdom? No. No, we've never been in a Kingdom, and I don't think I've been in a Warwick XL, or if I have, it's no, been... No, I think we've been in a Warwick. Oh, we've been in a Warwick Duo, that was right. Yeah. When but we, a Warwick when we, XL. When we were at um, uh, Mal the Malvern Show. Malvern Show. There was definitely a Warwick Duo, but, but we're not going an XL. A Warwick XL, so basically the layout of a Warwick XL is... Sort of the same as the CV20, two long beds at the back or one big double if you want it. Although the bathroom is a lot bigger. Um, but so we shall see how big ones we, we, we shall see. <laughs> so we're going to have a nosy round. Don't know how I really... I'm only doing this on a mobile today because we might make a video of it. Well, we probably will because we're doing an intro. But <laughs> uh, it's only going to be mobile footage. And if it helps anybody, that's great. But it is sort of for us to refer back to and go, yeah, we really liked that. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We might catch you inside in a bit. Okay. Bye. Right, -o, so we're voicing this one over after the event because there's a radio playing in the uh, showroom. So here's your spec sheet with the price on and the van layout. Um, we're going there to the sliding door entry, same as any panel van conversion. Switches on the outside for the step and the lights. There's your worktop extension. Now, normally we'd power that step out, but there's a wooden plinth for you to climb in. And you can see the dashboard there is very similar to the Fiat, although this is on a Peugeot. Uh, you can see a unit under the lovely sofa. I would imagine there's some storage under there, but I didn't lift this up, unfortunately. And then you've got some lights on a track system there that you can twist off and move anywhere around the van. And then the roof lights are touch sensitive on and off. We've then got plenty of cupboard space. These cupboards were really well made. Um, certainly felt a hundred times stronger than the, uh, the eldest ones that we have. You've got your over cab storage there with a table. Obviously your control panel, your heater panel. There's a microwave in this model. More storage as you can see. We've got the uh, combined oven and grill. Loads of under storage there. Cupboards and drawers. Uh, again, really precise and, and well made. You could certainly feel the difference, as you can see, showing you in the oven and grill there. Uh, there's a big pan drawer underneath there. Again, keep going over it, but there is lots of storage room. This is a really well thought out van. We've got a three burner gas hob in this, and you can see there there's a power tower that you could pull up. I didn't pull it up. Going to the toilet in the corner, it's combined toilet and shower with a timbre door. When you pull the door shut like that, there is a bit more room inside. But if you didn't shut the door, it's very tight on the toilet when you sat down, if we're honest. Um, but yeah, it's a full wet room. You just have to wipe everything down, I think. That's the problem. You can see there, storage over the bed. It's a French bed in this. Again, plenty of storage room. Can't fault it. Lights above. Big roof light. And then plenty more cupboards to the side and also on the right hand side there's a, another wardrobe with your table leg in and your solar controller etc. There's the fridge, it's a three-way in this van and we can lift the French bed up 
from the inside on hydraulic rams and store stuff under there. Very easy to pull down, very easy. And then you can see once it's down, you can actually tip the back up as well and have it so you can sit up in bed, which was nice. Uh, we'll just show you the storage again above the bed and all around. Well thought out, really good, more lighting. And then from the rear of the van, access to the bed tips up that way as well. And your toilet cassette is to the left. So that is the Auto Sleeper King Gun. It's a very nice van. Okay, so moving on to the uh, Warwick XL, is your spec sheet and price list for this one. This vehicle is on a Peugeot six speed manual at the minute, but you can get it on an automatic. It just would be the Fiat cab then, and obviously it's slightly more expensive. You see how they're just messing with a few switches there. I'll show you them in a minute when I get to that point myself, but basically they're just for awning lights and step lights, etc. Above you can see the wind out two lay awning, and then to the rear of the vehicle, this is your external barbecue point, which I'm now gonna struggle to open one-handed because I'm holding a mobile phone, but we do get there in the end. There we go. Moving to the rear of the van through the barn doors, you can see we've got a camera above your brake light for your reversing aid, and then down the side, all your input sockets. I'm not sure what this one was, I apologize for that. Let me know if you know. You've got your TV aerial socket there and your 230 volt input. Moving around, we've got the toilet cassette and your underslung LPG fill. And you can see this has got air suspension on it. I'll just show you a close up of the airbag, which is there. There you go. Into the van then, these are the switches Hezo was messing with. You've got your awning light above and some lights on the step there. And obviously the electric step in and out if you were using it. There's your worktop extension. And then as we go into the van, this is the newer of the Peugeot cabs with the bigger screen in the middle. To the right hand side of the uh, steering wheel, you've got your airbag controls for your suspension. And then as we move into the bathroom, this was a combined bathroom with shower, but there was a bifold door to separate them. So it was a really good idea, it stopped everything getting wet, proper shower, and even I could stand up in there and shower easily. Lots of room in there, really did like that. Above the cab storage with an extra table, and then you can just see the general layout of the van is very similar to our CV20 there. We have got a three burner hob, combined oven and grill, and literally storage pockets wherever they can stick them, really good. Not a, not a bit of wasted space in this van, it was really nice. Um, moving along, there are drawers obviously under the sink, cupboards everywhere and the big pan drawer under the oven. Big mirror to your left hand side, really brighten the van up. And then we go along to the left here, you can see the wardrobe with your solar controller in and your table etc. All the electronics stored in there. Some drawers underneath. And then at the very bottom of there, which you'll see later in the video, the consumer unit. Here's me struggling to open the fridge. There we go. Pick the right side. It's a three-way fridge. And then above, we've got the microwave and some more storage. The lights obviously move like they did on the other van. Three cupboards across the back each side, although the rear one is slightly shorter due to having a speaker next to it. So we'll just lift the... Uh, Beds up now, show you the storage underneath, although we have picked up the cushion there. We'll pick up the actual unit itself in a minute. They're on hydraulic rams, it's very easy to lift. There we go, we got it that time. So yeah, all the carpets are in there at the minute, but there was basically just the batteries under one side and the uh, heater under the other. Loads and loads of storage in there. Really, really well thought out. So yeah, you can see. I wasn't gonna take the carpets out, but there is literally stacks of room under there. So again, easy to drop down on a hydraulic rams, save holding it open with your head or your knees. Through the back door, you can see there the table point and three roof lights in this van. It was really light and airy. So yeah, you can see there where I was mentioning about the speaker and the storage pockets on the back doors. Again, just showed you in that little cupboard, but still plenty of storage across the back. All 
fly screens and blinds in this van. Really nice. Couldn't fault it. There's your consumer unit under the drawers, as I said earlier. And I'll show you another one now outside. So we've just had a look inside a brand new Warwick XL. There is a used one here, 60,000 on a 69. Um, you can actually see on there, it's, it is a three-way fridge and your water filler behind it. Um, No. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, I'll sort of amalgamate this in with the other video that I've just done. I couldn't really uh, talk in there. They've got a radio on, so I've had to voice over that part. But this is a used one. Um, not much has changed. Slightly smaller locker at this side, but that's because they've got speakers at the back there. And this bed itself is exactly the same length. We've just, we have tried it. I can lie down on this. So it's basically like our CV20, although the storage is a lot better in this. Um, that's the consumer unit's yeah, gonna be there. So they've moved They've moved that in the brand new one. It's down there by, behind Heather's legs, yeah. um, where them vents are, which I still can't see because now Heather's arse is in the way. There Don't we go. Say so yeah. But layout, pre you, layout pretty much the same. Uh, the boiler and stuff is stored under this side. So you've, you've, you've lost a bit of storage under there. You don't need to lift it up really, we will do. So yeah, your, your batteries are actually, the boiler's moved in the other one. It was under there. The battery and the consumer unit's in there. So slightly different, but I don't know what's under this side. Nothing, that's full of storage, so. Maybe, um, probably the boiler. Probably the boiler's gone under there that's, or something. That's... Probably. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, these Warwick XL, um, for saying it's only 36 mil longer, they've made a massive difference with the bath. Centimetre. 36 centimetres. <laughs> they've made a massive difference with the uh, bathroom. We really do like that. Like so that I will throw the XL together as two different vans because I couldn't really talk on the other one. But yeah, we, we really like this. It's a very inexpensive game though, these, these are auto sleepers. But yeah, for the extra length at the minute, as I said, I've always liked this van and Heather was unsure she liked the Kingdom. Which you still like. Which she still likes, but. But I think that, you know, as, as much as I thought that there would be enough room I think that you know the um, uh, French bed. Yeah. Is still not as good as two no, singles. No, two singles. Like I say. Um, um, yeah. So that's the, a very nice. The bathroom fun. isn't as. No, this this yeah. bathroom is is a hundred percent as good as you can get in a in a van. I think. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, basically you have got a separate shower with a glass bifold door and a window in there. There's a lot more room in the toilet. I know it sounds, we don't like to talk about toilets, but you have got, it's a lot more comfortable than trying to get into ours. So for a van conversion, this bathroom wins hands down. Um, as we say, three way fridge, great storage. Um, yeah, we really like, we really like. <laughs> right, we are just pulled up at Loudham's, which is just up the road from where we've been. So we'll wind this video up here. We're just going to pop in to get some toilet blue. All the uh, all the romantic stuff that we do. <laughs> Take her out to buy some toilet blue. Uh, if there is any vans here as we wander around, we'll stick them at the end. But we're we're not here to just look around a van. But I'll throw. We're going to have a look though. We'll have a look, but I'm not. <laughs> I, I might just film a little bit and throw it on after this. But that'll just be bonus stuff. Anyway, this video may be rubbish, but as we've said, if we've filmed which we have, because we know that now, because this is the end. <laughs> we've, fil we've filmed some auto sleeper stuff. I know, it's hard work, this is. Uh, it's just for us to remember what we liked about them. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, she can go in it, look. We saw this on the internet, she loves these. <laughs> Shousen 550X. One, one sixty brain.
Is it nicer than it looks on the telly? Let's have a look. End bathroom. Still got the drop down bed though. You've got to put up with that in the shower, yeah, son. Sure. I know, yeah. <laughs> Separate bathroom. So it's it's virtually identical to our our showers and motorhome. This uh, drop down bed. Uh, fold yeah. over. Fold over table though this time. Yeah. This drops down. This table doesn't make say proper cooker second bed it's nice it's nice yeah it is nice <laughs> you can't. i mean everybody's on about not having a window there i don't think it no well it's detrimental with with the fact that you've got you know a big skylight there a big skylight there big yeah. skylight in the bath mm. well you can't have one i don't think i want to drop down bed again no no me oh uh, well there's nowhere to lie in the day. That's the that's what we found when we had one of these drop down beds. There's just no. I mean, okay, there. this is different because it's going straight across that way. Yeah, um, we found we sat on these seats and put our legs on here when we had one like this. But I, like I thought it was uncomfortable sitting on the driver's seat all the time. To be honest. Yeah, so these are coach built, but they're they're built as a van width. Uh, Five point nine nine meters. 19 foot 9, 2.1 wide, yeah, nice, could go for that, although a lot of motorhomes are going narrower now, that one's the same, it's where we had our house and from here when we first got it, oh she's found an A-class that's 6 metres long now, she's obsessed with these A-classes, And it's only £68,000. We'll have two. <laughs> I'm a BDL444. Drop down bed. Well, we're not going to, are we? Oh, well, plenty of workspace though. Like you say, six metres long. Yeah. Huge blooming. Bathroom's massive to be honest. Look at the size of that Huge shower. Blimey. And it's got an oven, yeah. Govern and grill. Yeah, no, you can't fault it. It's nice for an A class. Ticks all the boxes if you want an A class. Yeah. What's this on? A Fiat then? Yeah, Fiat, same as ours. No, it's nice. I mean, if you like A classes, that's not bad. Like I say, it's obviously four berth, isn't it? I, assume I guess this makes a bed of sorts, yeah. but yeah, the drop down bed, I don't know how it works, but it pulls down, well, it's electric, isn't it? I'm not going to mess, but I don't know, is it? I'd imagine so. I'm not going to mess with it. There's a lot of them aren't, aren't there? I don't think, I don't know. Actually, that might be a, that might be a small bed. You might sleep down here. You'd have to look online what the model is, wouldn't you? It's a BDL444 Hymer anyway. There you go. Little six meter. Is this sleep four? Yeah, it must be a four berth then, like you say. You'll have a look online, B444 DL. Don't know how old it is. I don't know how old it is. It's obviously a used one. It's not brand new. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's got no number plates on it, but that I don't think it's brand new. You can't tell these days with a digital. Yeah. Miles. There you go. 